I have no idea why I'm even doing this video. This is not gonna be fun for me or anybody. Whatever. Roll the title page. What's up everyone, I am Tyler and this is the Never Empty Bottle. On today's video, this is going to be all about this little beauty right here, which is Fireball Whiskey. And apparently as of 2018, it is one of the top selling whiskey brands in all of America. I, I don't understand how, I know how it's possible because of you college students out there that just love to take shots and <sighs> this is what our world has come to. So what I'm gonna try and do for you guys today is video. I I do not like Fireball. It is something I, everyone's drank it. I think at some point in their life, it's you know it's easy to shoot. I guess it's only like 33% alcohol. Yeah, as I mean, it's easy to shoot, but it's not good. You can't do much with it. So I found a bunch of cocktail recipes on their cocktail recipes on their website. So. We're gonna try some of them out today and we're gonna see if there are any that are worth a shit and hopefully I'm not like on the floor or passed out or you know, we'll see what happens. Because there is no skill involved in making these cocktails, it is just kind of a dump and pour method for you college kids. Uh, I, I'm not gonna waste time showing show you, I, you understand how it works. So this first one's called the Sunburn. It's just one part fireball, one part coconut rum. I. I call it sunburn because it's gonna scorch my tongue. Ah, uh, not off to a good start. That is, that is not good. Ah, uh, thought maybe the second taste. Oh, that's still pretty poopy. The sunburn, that's, yep, try again. This one I have some high hopes for. This one's called Dragon's Blood. Yeah, Dragon's Blood. So it's just one part fireball, one part cranberry juice. So I like cranberry juice. Honestly, I can hardly taste the fireball in this. Maybe I need to up it up a little bit. Put a little more in there. Ah, huh? I mean, Honestly, I just taste mostly cranberry. Cranberry and cinnamon, that's not too bad. Not my favorite, but shit. This one might require the most skill out of anyone. It's called the Fuzzy Balls. These are also, as much as I hate this whiskey, there are some very funny names to these cocktails. So it's orange juice, some peach schnapps, I don't want to finish off my bottle. Your main ingredient, Fireball. Ugh. That looks just venomous. That's probably sanitary. And there you have your fuzzy balls. No. Nope. Nope, 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 no part of that. Hard smell of cinnamon, no matter, even though the orange juice mask in it. I don't know if I did the equal or the right amount of parts on this one, but peach schnapps, orange juice, fireball. Yuck. This is just lazy. Absolutely lazy. They call this a slap shot. It is a shot of fireball in a in a chilled shot glass. That's not a cocktail. That's a shot. You ass hats. <sighs> Whatever. Ah. Uh, <sighs> Whatever. So how are you feeling during this? Thinking more and more this is a bad idea. Mm -hmm. I don't think there are too many good of these Oh man, my words are already shit. Oh, well, this will be fun. Woo! This one I have high hopes for, so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually give this my best effort. So it's half an ounce of lemon juice. Clearly I measured that. Um, fireball, one ounce. Clearly I measured that. 
And then sweet iced tea. This one is called the fire and iced tea. A lot of like Game of Thrones reference, I feel like. Like Dragon's Blood was the other one. This one's fire and iced tea. Like I'm all, I'm here for it. I, I love that show, minus the last season. Sorry, you guys swing and a miss. But this one I have high hopes for. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, this can't be that bad. No, it's not bad at all. I taste mostly just the sweet tea. And then there's just that hint of cinnamon in the back of your mouth and it's like, hey, I'm here. Hate it. Probably the best one so far though. So this one's called a fire starter. It's just uh, Irish cream, coffee liqueur, and fireball. If this ruins coffee liqueur for me, I am oh, uh, one salty potato. Here we go. Mmm, it looks like it's not gonna be shit, but it's gonna be shit. Maybe not. Cheers. Oh, shit aftertaste. It's fine when it hits the lips. It's nice and smooth and creamy because of the Irish cream. And the coffee liqueur is just there, but then there's just something tickling the back of your throat that's like, hey, bud, I've come to ruin your good time. I'm not sure what that voice is. Yep. Ah, not bad. So this one's just sour mix and fireball. I can't imagine this is going to be worth a shit. Let's give her a shot. It's called the flamethrower. Oh, it's just like they're betting on the sour mix just to completely just make your lips pucker and forget about. Maybe it's, trying, it's supposed to be so sour that you just like, you can't drink the rest. Your lips are, no thanks, nope. Oh, that's garbage. <laughs> oh, that might be worse than the slap shot. And that was just whiskey. Oh, piss. Oh, I didn't like it. So this one was interesting to me. It's called the Manmosa. Hi, ah, you know, Mimosa. Sure, so there's gonna be a little bit of bubbly in there. I don't mind that. So let's give her a shot here. Haha, <laughs> you see what I did there? Puns. That's too much fireball. I've already fucked this up. Champagne me, if anybody doesn't mind. And then it said just a splash of orange juice because you know, we want to make sure we get some of that fireball in there. Boop, just a splash. That was actually probably too much. My bad. Sorry, fireball. You bastards. <coughs> oh. about that is good. Oh, the bubbliness. Oh, yikes. No, thank you, Lieutenant Dan. Oh. <coughs> that is, no, all right, that one. Woo! Piss, that's garbage. That, it tastes like they tried to make a champagne version of Fireball and they were just like, you know what, just throw like some dish soap and Fireball together because it, it makes bubbles and then we'll, yeah, it'll work. Nobody will notice because it's, it's Fireball. Who the hell cares? You kids that are younger than me, and I'm not an old guy, let's be real. I'm only like, you know, doesn't matter, but I'm not that old. So I'm not sitting here saying that I haven't done these kind of drinks or shots or whatever, but if you're still doing them to this day, Stop! There are so many better cocktails out there. Last one. Okay, so this whole video I've been trying to, I've been trash on Fireball. Um, so let's try and make it a more sophisticated. We're gonna do a mule here. It's gonna be a Fireball mule. Just literally called a fiery mule. Nothing, nothing clever. Let's crack some ice. Sweet. 
ice cracking abilities. There we go. That is how they do it. Okay, fireball, cause that's the video I decided to go with. Now we gotta go with some lime juice if we're doing a mule. Perfect. And then of course, some of your ginger beer here. I have high hopes for this one. It is really, really hard to mess up a mule. But my God, I've seen it done before. Maybe just a little more lemon juice. Le uh, what did I put in? Lime juice, that's the one. And here you have your fiery mule. Yes. Fireball, on your website you have dozens of these stupid ass cocktails and this, just put this one in front and delete the rest of them. This is the one. Yes, people, the fiery mule, absolutely. Let's try and rank these mofos. So from first to worst we'll go. Uh, number one, gonna give it to the mule. Mule wins, it was tasty, it tastes just like a mule. A little bit of that cinnamon kick, but it reminds me of the holidays, we're in the holiday season. Boom, number one. Number two, I'm gonna go ahead and give to my iced tea here. So much sweet iced tea in here, it drowns out the flavor of cinnamon fireball. So, it's gonna win again. Number three is gonna be the uh, dragon's blood, so the cranberry one. The cranberry one, it, it hid the flavor enough. I feel like they just, they, the, the, the flavors went together really well. So I am struggling to talk, people. Um, they went together well enough that it kind of hit it, so, yeah, number three. I think that's a good spot for it. Number four. Yeah, it's a tough one, but I'm gonna go ahead and edge it out with the old fuzzy balls. Uh, orange juice, peach schnapps. I love peach schnapps. And just, I don't know, it, they went together well enough. The cinnamon was hid in between those two ingredients. And main reason it got fourth over one of the other ones, fuzzy balls is a hilarious name. So, number five. Gonna give it to this guy, which right now I can't think of its name. So you weren't that impressionable. And you're number five, so you know you weren't the best, but you weren't the, yeah, that's pretty, uh, that sounds like an average cocktail to me. Can't really remember the name. Wasn't your least favorite, you probably won't order. Oh, Firestarter, nailed it. Boom, <laughs> I knew it'd come back to me. All right, number six is going to be the very first one, which, it was fireball and something. Rum, ugh. Yeah, that was the sunburn. Yeah, that one sucked. Let me make sure it sucked. Yeah, that one, oh, that one sucks. That one almost got a lower position just because of that sip. Ugh. Number seven is going to be, eh, it's gotta be this guy here, the, the flamethrower. Yeah, the flamethrower. Just, oh, cinnamon and sour mix. I, I did not appreciate that at all. Not even a little bit. And the moment you've all been waiting for, which one of these cocktails is gonna get shit cocktail of the week? Uh, number nine is gonna be actually the slap shot, which is just straight fireball whiskey. Which means, woo! The man Mosa loses for the absolute most garbage cocktail in this fireball category that you could ever make. Oh my God, this was terrible, people. I don't even, oh God, it's champagne, fireball, and a, a splash. Make sure it's just a, bloop, and you're done. Most garbage cocktails out of all, how many did I do here? Nine, that's too many. That is too many cocktails for me. Yikes. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Otherwise, I don't know why I'm doing this. I, it's kind of fun to see. Um, please subscribe, please like, please give me a comment. Which one of these would you try? Which one of these have you maybe tried? 
If you don't know what fi uh, Fireball is, for some of my Canadian friends out there, stay away. Don't, just, yeah, that's, there's better things to do than try Fireball. Um, yeah. Other than that, I'm going to dump all these in the toilet, maybe, and I'll see you guys next time.